Okay, so in today's video, we are going to Costco, which is a bulk store in the US. I'm not exactly sure if they're everywhere in the US, but for sure they're in Minnesota. And a lot of people love it. You can buy in bulk and save a lot of money shopping for groceries. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in and show you guys the groceries and kind of like the size comparisons and talk a little bit about comparing it to Portugal. So I do wanna start off mentioning that you do have to have a membership to be able to shop here. And I'm not exactly sure on pricing, but that is something that I didn't hear about in Portugal. It could be there, but I did not hear or see any kind of membership for grocery stores there. Okay, before we move on with the video, I did some research quick to see like if Costco was in Europe, and they actually have four in Spain, two in France, one in Iceland, New Zealand, and Sweden. I didn't even know it was over there. I didn't even know Spain had one. That's crazy. But I just thought I would add that in here quick. And here's a quick video to show that they have like an electronic section. They have products and appliances too, but we're gonna head over to the grocery side. So here's a quick little video of all the seafood that they have. I'm sure it's really interesting to see what our seafood looks like here compared to Portugal. Obviously, it's super fresh in Portugal. Here, we have to get it shipped in. Should we get chicken breast or chicken with the bone in? So I thought this was kind of a good example of like the size comparison. So like instead of just getting one, you get a bunch like in bulk because it's cheaper that way. Or the product itself is just a lot bigger in one quantity. And a big difference between Portugal and the US is that they add their taxes to the price so you know exactly what you're paying where we don't know what taxes are until we go up to the checkout. We got everything and now we're heading to the truck to put all our groceries inside. Another thing I wanted to show you from Costco is that we go to the concession stand every time pretty much that we go to Costco because it is extremely cheap, like extremely cheap. You get a pop and a hot dog for $1.50. I'm pretty sure that's even a good price for Portugal and they usually Things aren't as expensive in Portugal, especially food. And it's really funny because you can get the same hot dog and pop at like a sporting event and you'll easily pay like eight to $10 just for a hot dog. That's it. Okay, I just wanted to hop on here quick and show you guys something that I bought from Costco. It's this Brazilian body butter. And it's really funny because I don't even think about Brazilian things. Like I never really gave it a second thought when I had never been to Portugal. But being to Portugal and like having people from Brazil or people talk about Brazilian people all the time, it's funny to like put two and two together. But anyways, um, it's like a lotion for your body. And I used it once so far and it's super good. Like I'm, I'm not like hyping this up just to like 
get you to go buy this because I don't get anything from you buying this but like it smells really good it's almost like lotion perfume because then like your skin and kind of your clothes too will smell for like the rest of the day and it smells so nice it's not like that overpowering crazy girly perfume or like when guys wear too much cologne and you're like whoa settle down it's not like that so if you're looking for something that you want that smells good and is moisturizing for your skin I would say if you have a Costco membership, try this out. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention that I noticed in Portugal that I'm not sure is is like a common thing in Portugal or like if it's just Evo's family that does that because it's, it's more family to family here in the U.S. But my parents like to buy in bulk food because it saves them money, but they also like to have things like at their house. So like, oh, I want to make this tonight. Oh, we have all the ingredients, so let's just make it. Where in Portugal, it definitely seemed more like, oh, let's make this. Wait, we have to go to the store to buy everything because we have nothing. Or like, we only have one thing that we need to make out of the recipe and we need to go to the store to get everything else. So I don't know if that's an American thing or not, but I kind of like having a whole stockpile in my house so I can cook whatever I want whenever I want to. <laughs> And also another reason why buying in bulk can be really useful is like if you buy things that are like essentials, um, like the other thing I bought from Costco was razor blades for shaving, obviously. And you're obviously going to buy them over and over and over in your life. So you might as well buy them in bulk and then save money instead of buying one at a time or a pack, a small pack at a time. Um, so things like that, like shampoo too, like you're just going to end up buying more once you run out so you might as well just buy it in bulk or buy a bigger amount at one time and save money so another reason why costco could be a good choice um or you have a really big family and you can just finally buy in quantities that make sense for your family yeah i like costco so I wonder what you guys like think of it like Europeans or Portuguese people like do you think Costco would be a good thing in Portugal?